lots of people in the fashion industry will think this it's like is it you know is fashion correct should we actually be making fashion you know uh, and, I'm, and, and am i choosing the right path career path you know the right life choices we cannot continue the textile industry it's it's uh, the second biggest industry it's uh, considered one of the most polluting industries and at the same time it's it's still they say one way ticket so that there is not the recycling and, and the recycling is a must for that industry to continue. And the uh, Infinited Fiber technology has a vital position. Infinited Fiber, born from the VTT Research Center, is trying to achieve a goal where your clothes can be recycled infinitely. The feedstock that we're using at the moment is post-consumer textile waste coming from the textile collection campaigns that are being done here in Finland. We transform the cellulose separated from the cotton-rich textile waste. Our technology is organic solvent-free and uses water-based processes. In traditional viscose manufacturing, carbon disulfide is used, and it's considered as a toxic nerve poison. We have replaced carbon disulfide with urea, which is a natural biomolecule. At this stage, the shredded textiles still have all the elastane, polyester, colors, and anything else there that might be existing in the old textile. Material is being processed to remove the polyfibers from the stream. Washing sequences remove any remaining impurities, as well as traces of the alkaline liquor. At this stage, we have mainly cellulosic parts of the material left. This pilot factory is our gem, and it's here that we have the core of our process. This is where the magic lives. At Infinitive Fiber Company, our process is quite robust. For example, we can handle the elastane impurities. Carbamide fiber is unique because its uh, benefits are like uh, it takes up the color very easily, which means that its footprint there is, is very low. Uh, the other thing is that it's also user-friendly, which is an, an other uh, surplus. And of course, it's a vital part of, of the future of textile industry because we have to go for, for recyclings. In the wet spinning process, we regenerate fibers from the cellulose liquid. This part of the process is well known from the viscose industry, and that's why our technology can be easily retrofitted to existing viscose mills. In this liquid, your old jeans and t-shirts have forgotten their history, and they're ready to be reborn. So let's do some magic. As the cellulose liquid touches the acid, neutralization happens and the cellulose crystallizes into new fibers. So from every tiny hole comes a new fiber. We produce uh, yarn with 50% of organic cotton and after we produce 100% with uh, uh, infinity fiber. So um, analyzing the properties of the, of the fiber of the fiber sorry of the of the yarn, uh, yarns are between uh, cotton and uh, uh, viscose. Everything that you've seen today has been filmed during our first 72-hour production run, demonstrating that the process can be run continuously for a few days. Now, our next step is the scale up. It's important to remember products are made of two things. One half of that is intrinsic value. So the actual cost of the goods, so the, you know, the cost of the actual cotton, how many grams or ounces of cotton you're using in that garment, how long it takes to make that garment, where you make it, that's the intrinsic cost. The other cost, it, the other part of the, the value of a product is its social value. So what that means to you. I'm wearing this, I stand up, I'm wearing the jeans. <laughs> Let me see them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, I think they're the first hair made, I think, because that was from Easy for when we did the work with her before. I came to your factory, you know, and I, I saw the, uh, the the results of, of the denim that you guys made, and it's, it, it was mind-boggling. It was just, uh, you know, the, the same jeans material and quality as what you get, very, very good quality. I'm, I'm not a fabric expert, but this is fabric. This is like real thing. It's it's not <laughs> like uh, you think that recycled recycled fabric is some somehow less than the proper thing. It's not. They just feel like normal fabric. Like we can have just normal fabric. Like that is got such a good background and comes from such a good place, and can do so many things in the future again.